We will try again. All right. I... Well, nobody's on yet. Now we have one person on. I'm not sure what happened. We suck. So bear with us as we try to figure this out. <laughs> We had to, uh, all right. Well, Crystal's going to moderate because I can't read that screen. Yep. We were buffering because we were on the wrong internet connection, so I fixed it, but it lost our stream. Let's see. So I was building this for anybody who was watching. I started building it. Live chat. And I'm here. Please comment to let us know you're here. I am And where you're watching from. Up. Oh boy. Let us know where you're watching from. Or let us know how you found us. How about that? That'd be cool. Hi mom. Is it better? We uh we don't know what we're doing. And I'm the tech savvy one, so I should know what I'm doing, but I've never done this before. Okay. Who we got on there? I see your mom. There's, right. there's a couple other people on. We got people. That's fine. You don't if, have to say anything. If Just you're watch. on there, we want to know. I want to know. Where are you watching <clears throat> from? I'm just happy people are hanging out with me. There we go. So what I what I did is filled this up. This guy's a little... So if you weren't watching before, but you are watching now... Um... I made this appear out of nowhere. Oh, hey, Julie. From Alabama. Hey, y'all. We love Alabama. Yeah, the food. Yeah, I miss that food. Melt, melt in Birmingham. Mm. That sounds good right about now. I'm sure, that sounds good to everyone. I wonder if they're still doing the curbside. All right, so this guy goes like that. I'm going to clean it off. Not a lot of space back here. Not with me. My big booty. <laughs> Just kidding. It's really quiet in here. It's kind of weird. We gotta be more entertaining. We'll get to it. I don't know. You're teaching how to plant something. David's creating this cool little planter with some cactus. Um, we could you ship that? We can technically ship anything. Yeah, we could ship it, but it'd uh, probably be real expensive. Was only somebody bummer. asked, is that what it was? No, I'm oh. just informing the public. It wouldn't be expensive. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It just depends. Depends on where you live. So what have you guys been up to? But these things weigh three to four pounds, so. Are you guys, a lot of you working from home? Still able to go to work? I think we're buffering again. We might switch to Facebook because we keep having a lot of issues. And we normally have a lot more viewers and it's just not working. Yeah, we lost all, like we're down to two people. You want to just go back on Facebook? Yeah. Okay, guys. I think we're going to go back to Facebook because this is not, it's not working. Um, Something wrong with the connection. Oh, hi. How are you? It's Lisa. You see Lisa. We miss you, Lisa. Hey, so we were trying something new and we were trying to do this on YouTube, but we're having a lot of issues, like connectivity issues, which is really weird. And we're oh it is fine okay it keeps saying on my phone that it's like buffering so i'm like okay we normally have a lot of viewers and because we switched to youtube i figured we probably wouldn't have as many um so we're just kind of trying to navigate this whole thing and figure out what's going to be best we just we wanted to make sure that our instagram followers could come on and see us because some of our instagram followers don't have facebook um so i Thought YouTube would be the good solution. <laughs> Are you leaving me by myself over here? So if you, if you couldn't see what he was doing, you put these three plants in here. 
really cool. We got to get this guy right here a little more secure, but David will do that in a minute. How many devices do I have running? Um, well, my computer's running to the live. Um, Trillion. Is the chat feature on YouTube better? That's cool. Definitely new to us. I, I watch we'll a lot of. Stay here. You're just gonna hang out and talk with us for a minute. Yeah, I watch a lot of people live on YouTube, so I was like, why, why don't we try it out? Um, there's a lot of different things that we can do um, once we gain more followers. Uh, we noticed, so hopefully we can get there soon. David's leaving me all by myself over here. Mm-hmm. You got it. Why are you over there? Getting stuff. We're pretty hilarious. I don't know. <clears throat> I'm not very good at this like whole chat thing. So what do you guys want to know? What'd we eat for dinner last night? <laughs> Chicken nuggets. We made Dino bites. Yeah, yeah, dinner of champions. <laughs> poor, Tater tots. Poor David. Chicken nuggets. We got, well, we worked really late last night. I mean, if any of you <clears throat> were watching us last night, we didn't realize what time it was. And when we got off, we're like, oh, we better just cook them quick. So we had some Dino bites and some uh, steamed, microwave steamed broccoli. Oh, gosh. At least there was vegetables. So what I, what I, I went and grabbed different kinds of wood. So this is actually a... Uh, this is a saguaro, like a, a saguaro skeleton, a piece of it. And then I got... Oh, yeah, your some, mom said she can watch us on TV. Some cork wood, so I'm going to be using that. I've got some choya. Ooh, I want tacos. So we're going to break some of this up. And then I also have a, another piece of uh, just desert driftwood. So I grabbed all this so I could use it to, to decorate. And get this to I wanted this to be the pretty Arizona Arizona ish. So I'm gonna pop this. I'm gonna spin this around for a minute. Okay. So I am gonna pop this. Oh JT says he's on. Right there. Hi Jakers. <clears throat> so um those of you who know Jake, he's our nephew and he lives with us. And he is actually down visiting his grandmother right now in Yuma. Um, so we haven't we haven't seen him for a few days, a week, but I think it's been about a week actually. Um, so we miss him. We're sad that he's not up here, but hope he's having fun down there. We're trying to have fun up here. Mm -hmm. At least, I mean, maybe he can still get some chili pepper. If any of you have been to Yuma, I'm, I know we have some Yuma watchers on chili pepper. I could go for chili pepper right you can, now. You can buy me for burritos. We'll trade toilet paper for burritos, except we don't have much toilet paper. <laughs> not okay. much. Not much. All right. You showing it? Mm -hmm. because oh, we, should I scoot the table in a little more? No. I don't know. Can you guys see good? Hi, Brad. Now our oldest just logged on. Are you watching with the girls? They get excited when we're on YouTube. They like it, I think. I think they like it. Our girls love YouTube. Actually, all of our kids love YouTube. I think it's pretty normal that kids yeah. just like YouTube. So I've got some wood. Oh, he's in the car. Clean this off. And I just need to finish this up. So I'm going to build some rocks. Do we have oh. any rocks here? No. I'll get you some. You can entertain now. I'll get the rocks. I don't know how I became the entertainer. I was told I was pretty dry <laughs> all the time. Who told you that? And suddenly, I'm in charge of entertaining Who told you you people. were dry all the time? Oh, you. Maybe. All right, so we're pulling out some rocks. And a couple, we're trying to tumble some more of our Arizona rocks. Running low on Arizona rocks. So what um, I'm going to do is throw the front. Tumbling rocks is actually an uh, uh, interesting business. Um, we we got to take all these rocks, hose them off, 
get them all clean and then put them in this big tumbler and then they tumble for like 24 hours and then we got clean again. It's, it's fun, but it's a lot of work. Run them through the shaker. Uh, oh. You don't want to use my little ones? <clears throat> Not yet. Not yet. This. You like to buy a plant? <laughs> yeah. You know where they're at, Brad. Hey guys, stop arguing. See, we've got our teenagers arguing on our feed right now. That's awesome. Boy. Okay. So we got. <gasps> Jacob. Here. Jacob, too far. You can log off now. I'm going to throw some other rocks around the edge here. Oh, you guys need to not argue on our YouTube channel. <laughs> it's like. Yeah, you're, you're supposed to be talking. This is the time are. when I, when I'm just sitting here, so like doing this, and you're supposed to be explaining. Your ears aren't like going like this. What? Yeah, they're bleeding. <laughs> David has tinnitus, so whenever it's super quiet, his ears ring. For me, whenever it's super quiet, I get like stressed. I need like lots of noise. I like music. I play loud music. I love playing music when I'm working. Um, just makes like makes it nice. So but we don't know how copyright works on YouTube Live, so we're not sure how that how that goes yet. I moved that. I didn't. I know. I got it now, Jake. I just read it quickly and was like, what? <laughs> they can't really see what you're doing. Yeah, I know, because I'm doing it in back. I put the wood back there, but that way you can see it through the front. I didn't like the way it looked right here, so I took it off. And I need... And then we'll post a picture of it. What do you need? Uh, where's the moss? Everything is like... All over the place. We haven't like made everything organized in a few days. <laughs> it was organized. We'll be back to normal by Monday. <clears throat> I got to learn how to be a teacher in the next couple days. That'll be interesting. And teach our kids about plants. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, less is more, Mom. When it comes to succulents and cactus, you got to just ignore them. Uh, water does not mean love with these guys. It's just much, much less. It doesn't really matter where you live. I mean, like, you'll water more in drier areas and less in more humid, wet areas but the watering amount is still pretty similar no matter where you are. So I'll turn this around and put it. Tilt it. I don't know why I can't see anything. Oh, it's like way behind. There we go. So I want to put a little bit. I hope so. If it has anything to do with Common Core, I'm in trouble because when the kids brought home Common Core stuff, I was like, uh, like it made no sense to me, but and then Misha uh, is fluently she speaks Mandarin, and so I'm like, oh, we got to find a way to keep up on Mandarin. So hopefully, I can get her some programs to keep her Mandarin working good because she got second place in her speech competition. Um, was that last like two weeks ago, a week ago? Gosh, I don't even know. It's, it feels like two weeks ago, um, but she uh. She was um, tied for first place, and then uh, they did a tiebreaker, and one of the judges spoke so quietly that she couldn't hear him. And she had to ask him like three times what he said, and she said she still couldn't understand what he was saying because he was speaking so quietly. So automatically the other boy won. But um, they both did great. and they all, all the kids did great. I am so amazed by all these kids. Uh, most of the kids that are still in the program we've pretty much grown up with since Misha's been in kindergarten. 
Um, hopefully one of these days I'll get her to like come on our live and say some things in manner and it's pretty cute. Um, but I don't understand anything she says. So <laughs> I think we know what Pingua, Pingua. I'm not she's, even trying. She's going to make fun. She's going to make fun of me trying to say it. So there we go. Clean it off a little bit. That's good. Air plants aren't too hard to take care of. Air plants are great. Uh, a lot of people, like I was talking to my niece last night on FaceTime and she told me that uh, she bought an air plant from like Home Depot or something. I don't know where she got it from, but she said she got an air plant and it didn't tell her what to do. So she just would like drip water on it every, like every day, I think she said. And I was like, oh no. So if you ever get an air plant, don't put it in soil and make sure that you submerge it in water for about 20 to 30 minutes uh, a week. And then when you pull it out of the water, shake it off and let it dry and then put it back wherever you want. But, uh, don't leave it in the water too long as it might fall apart like an artichoke. Yeah, those would be basic instructions. Mm -hmm. If you live in somewhere that's drier, then you might have to soak it more often. Um, and, and then the other piece is like no bright sunlight for excessive amounts of time, maybe an hour or so, but you gotta bring for most, most spaces like for Arizona, anywhere like Arizona, the, those plants don't can't be outside. It's too dry. Uh, if it's if you're somewhere else and it's a little more humid outside, you could have them in like a covered, very protected space, but never left outside in the sun for very long. And then uh, we soak, so we recommend soaking. All right, so that's cool little cactus thing. I I ended up putting a little more little more moss detail here to try to pull this together. I originally had put the wood here, but you know, you can always move stuff to make it look right. So that this is meant to sit this way. And then um, I'm gonna water this up. So we use uh, something that we can get the water straight into the soil with. And we don't have any in store right now. You might be able to get those on Amazon. Um, do you remember what, like, what they're called? I, I don't know. I don't know. It's a medical device. Kind of. Yeah. It's actually, when I found it, it was, you just squirt my computer. <clears throat> Not cool. Um, I found it by searching for uh, watering bottles for succulents, I think. Um, and so it looks like an animal gerbil feeder thing. I don't know. Um, but they work really great for what we use them for. So um, if you're able to go on Amazon and, and search that up, it just looks like this. And it's awesome. And they come in two sizes. I think ours came with a bigger one and a smaller one. Yeah, I like this one better. Yeah, the little one. The big one's probably too big. So the key, the keys with this cactus, so the cactus that I put in here, these are well minus this one. They're more ten these are more tender. So this one could could survive the hot sun out here outside. Mm -hmm. But but the others are a little more tender, so we'd want to put them in, you know, bright indoor indirect light inside or real protected space outside for Phoenix. Depending on where you're at, it could be it could be different, um, but I built this as as meaning to be something indoors that's put near a sunny window, um, and then maybe every once in a while you bring it out to get it some some extra light, but you don't leave it out there too long so stuff doesn't burn. And then you wanna so for watering with these guys, you wanna water only when dry, and it's like a couple tablespoons at a time. So I only put a little bit of water in there. If you remember, we only have a little bit of soil, right? We only have this much, and then this whole bottom. Part is just the activated charcoal and uh, the perlite. So hopefully if there is too much water, it'll go down there. Mm -hmm. uh, the reason why is these plants only, they store their water in the leaves and we only want to give them as much water as they're going to pull up into the plant and not anymore. There's Bronco. <laughs> Hi. Luckily the kids haven't come barging in. I guess they're, maybe they're watching. They were on, here for a second. Well, Misha, I think, is Misha still with you, Brad? If he's still on, he probably was like, oh, I'm good up here. Are you still there, Brad? So we have any other, I can't read the comments. I have no idea what's going on. I don't know. Your mom said her pothos are going crazy at work. That's good. Yeah. Good, good, good. Yeah, we've been on for 20 minutes. So we probably could, we might want to switch over to our regular thing now. Or regular thing. Facebook? No, we're just going to stay here. Okay. We only have eight watchers. Then that's what we have. All right. I'm gonna. Crystal's gonna. I'm gonna go on our Facebook and try to see. I post it. 
Yeah, it didn't, didn't go very far. No. Nah. So normally, like last night, we had like 60 people on our YouTube or our Facebook Live. So that was nice and fun. Um, aw, you say hi? Say hi. He's like, Rockle. 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 Where's dad? Whoop. He's not over there. Yeah, he's, he's freaking out. He's done. He's like, what? Last time we had him on the counter, he was in a Beetlejuice costume for for the uh, pumpkin patch. It's crazy to think the pumpkin patch was six months ago, right? Six months ago? Almost six months ago? It was a fun time, but very exhausting. Very tiring time. Yeah, his ears are so cute. And, he, and we shaved him down like, I don't know, a month ago um, to get him all cleaned up. And he just looks like a little rat. But he's starting to grow back finally and get his fluff back. The kids don't like it when we get him a haircut because he looks funny. <laughs> all right, what are you doing, kiddo? I'm checking stuff. You're going to do the next one. What? Me? Yeah, you can do it. Oh, okay. What am I planting? I like this one. Looks so pretty. Pretty little pot. I think this was like a possibly a goodwill find. It looks like it was. Um, but yeah, it's like really pretty. It looks very vintage. So I think what do I want? I like this one. You didn't use one of those. Could we would this work? Yeah, so I would say so whenever you're doing something short, you want to keep everything short. Uh shorter. But let, we could do some, we'll do some bright colors to brighten up the uh, metal pot. The metal, metal pot, lighten up the Friday night. <laughs> I didn't know it was Friday, guys. I thought, well, I think I thought yesterday was Wednesday. Yeah, I think I've been a day off. So I'm, I'm really excited for the weekend because normally we work on Saturday and I think we're going to take Saturday and Sunday and spend it with the kids and just kind of. Maybe go for a walk around our property, play with the horse and the dog and the chickens. Um, the chickens were going crazy this morning. It was super funny. Like, literally, our rooster, I think, doodles all day. <laughs> if you have a rooster, does your rooster doodle all day? Because ours is like, I'm do all day long. One of my plantings has dried yellow leaves and others... Just wrinkly, but holding color. I give five squirts from a spray bottle to each plant once a week. Come on, expert advisor. Well, what's the deal with the spray bottle? So the spray bottle, because at one point we were promoting the spray bottle. Oh, yeah, no more spray bottles. So what we're finding in Arizona is that the spray bottle is not, um, it's not efficient enough. Um, it sounds like with the wrinkling that your plant's not getting enough water. Um, so what we suggest is to take like a medicine dropper or if you have something like this um, and get it right into the soil next to the plant and give it about two tablespoons of water um, and then not give it water again until the soil is super dry. Um, the soil will start receding from the pot. So right now, if you're watering regularly um, like that, you'll probably notice that you actually don't have to water for about three weeks. Uh, it's starting to get warm again, so that could change pretty quickly here. Um, but we noticed when we were misting, it was it just wasn't enough. Um, and we've been trying to correct that error that we gave out to our clients um, that we, we really, with the winter and it gets colder, we really need to just be putting that water right into the soil um, and just checking it with our finger once a week. And if it's dry, water it. And if it's not, leave it alone. Um, that... That would be my best suggestion. It is very normal for leaves to come off under the bottom um, and get all nasty and dried up. You just pull those off. That's normal. They shed and then they grow new leaves. Um, if they're getting yellow and squishy and translucent, that means there is too much water. And if you're noticing that on one plant and not another, I would just avoid watering that plant if you can. So that's why we recommend going directly next to the plant um, and trying just to water that area just in case. Um, usually you don't, that doesn't happen. It's they, they usually are all affected. Some just show their effects more than others. So the wrinkling is definitely underwatering. Yeah. Usually, usually the wrinkling means underwatering. I mean, let me see. I think we kind of showed you guys last night on our live. And if you were there like this guy, I don't know if you can see 
he's got wrinkles, he needs to be watered. And we try to keep these out so people, so we can show our clients like what, what to look for with wrinkling. Um, I don't have any translucent ones to show you. I don't think how many examples I should, I should just have that on hand all the time. Um, do we have any translucent ones? No. Okay. So I'm going to build this little pot here. And like David said, when you're dealing with a shallow pot, it is a little more tricky because you got to determine the soil. So like if I were to just plop this guy right in there, it appears to be way too tall. So that won't work. So since I know that, I'm going to create my little mixture on the bottom first. I am trying to... So I'm going to pour in some perlite again. Where's my charcoal, David? It's all right here. There it is. And take some activated charcoal. And if you guys can't find this stuff, um, we we sell it on our website. You just go to our website, um, and we have we actually have a special place, uh, a special collection called As Seen on YouTube. And you can click on that, and you can get all the products that we use um, on our YouTube lives or our YouTube uh, videos right there. And of course, if there's something that you're needing that we don't sell online, just ask. Okay. So now I've created my little space of Oreo cookies. And I'm gonna take some soil here. I'm gonna just mix a cup of soil in there, mix it up. So now, since this guy's too tall, I think David showed you in other videos that he just kind of flares out the bottom, takes a part of, you know, some of it to make it a little shorter. It just really depends on the look you're going for. Because I could kind of build it up in the center and make it a little mound. I think I'm going to just leave it lower. So I think I really like that guy in the middle. I might do this guy over here. He's a little still too tall, but I feel like I can like squeeze him in a little bit. And get him nice and happy right there. I don't make as many changes as David does. I kind of, once I do it, I just leave it there. I notice that he he changes his positioning of plants way, more than, way more than I do. I'm like, ah, that's good. Oh, this looks pretty. I like it. So remember. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I see not, it. Not that, you, you're going downhill. I That's what I, I wanted to do that. Okay. I'm trying to flare it down. Uh, Renee said, so that you, so you use this for like drainage areas since it's a closed container. Oop. Yes. So I'm trying to show you guys kind of what I'm doing. It's really hard to do that. You um, could probably angle that down. Once we yeah. get a little bit better at like camera angles and filming, I'm not really sure how we do that live. I know that I can do this when I make a video. I can have several cameras filming me at one time what if we go? to see what I'm doing. Yeah, that might work a little better. Scoot it in. Actually, if you scoot it in, I can just reach further. Hang on to the table or to your <laughs> Hold your hat. This here is the wildest ride in the West. <gasps> Disneyland. Oh, I want to go to Disneyland so bad. Uh, All right there. Now we can see better. About a couple weeks ago, I was at, I was working and um, it was like a Tuesday. And that Monday they had started giving away packs of Disneyland tickets for, you know, any, anybody that was caller 10. And so the, the next day, the girl's doing it. I think it was like 11 o'clock. And she's like, okay, call her 10. Call in and you'll win tickets. And I, I've been known to win on the radio. But I figured it's Disneyland. I'm not going to win it. Everybody's trying to win that. And, yeah, it rang. All of a sudden, I think it was like my second try. It started ringing. The girl picked up and she didn't say, like, oh, you're caller 8 or whatever. She just started talking to me. And I was like, I think I won something. So I was really excited that – uh I won, so it was it was very cool. Um, I was able to go down to the studio and pick up my tickets, um, but unfortunately, I think we were we were actually trying to go. I think it was March second because that was like one of the last days that it wasn't super busy at the park before spring break happened. Um, so, I mean, hindsight, I don't know if I, I'm glad we did go or didn't get to go, or wish we did get to go. Um, but either way, I still have tickets, so. One day, I hope we will go soon. Oh, you're giving me the whole word. This is my favorite plant right here. So, 
to zebra haworthia. Ooh, this is gonna be fun. I don't know that I've planted anything like this in a short pot. Don't You're not gonna be able to do it that way. No, I have to like pull it apart. Yeah. Oh, something new for me to do that I've never done before. Oh, is that you texting? I was that's like, what me. is that? I was like, that's new. It's you that typing. That is all me. Yeah. So hopefully uh, a lot of our fans will take advantage of, of, of our YouTube lives and, you know, just learn something new. I mean, I learn something new every day. I definitely was not a green thumb by any means. I still wouldn't call me a green thumb at all. Um, but I'm learning. I know a lot more about plants than I ever did. Um, this is totally David's thing, like by a tenfold. This is not my thing, but I enjoy it, if that makes any sense. Um, I'd rather be playing my guitar, uh, but that's okay. <laughs> I do like building plants and or building arrangements, I should say. Um, let's see, where do I wanna put this? I'm like, hmm, I'm really looking at her line angle. No, right over there. Yeah, that needs to go. No, not there. Not there? No. Nope. Where? I was going to put that right there. Right here. So. Okay. I'll take his advice. It's very rare that that happens. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm definitely one that uh, beats to my own drum. I do what I want. But I listen to him. Yeah, I was going to put. He, he knows the good things, so I like him. Three of these. Ah, Mom says I have a better eye. It depends what it is. I, I definitely think that he makes very beautiful arrangements, and I don't always love what I do, and I usually ask him for help. I'm yeah, like confident. I'm not very confident. So I was going to. That's why you've never seen me play anything live or, or post anything three. of me playing because I'm like, I don't know. You're gonna group three right here. But I've actually wrote like seven songs um, and I've had, I actually have music to them. So you're gonna put these in a triangle. So I'm making a triangle right now, y'all. Look, I'm gonna make those a triangle. Oh, our dog oh. wants outside. Yes, you have a Haworthia in your apple. It's a, so the, the zebra plant, this one here, this is a good, uh, easy succulent plant. It can be in the shade. It can be closer in the sun. It can deal with water. Like it's it's a very not picky one as opposed to the rest. Make quite a mess here. All right. That's so, what we do here. We make a mess. So uh, and you clean it up. Yeah, I think that looks good. I would say that's good. And then you're just gonna, you gotta fill the gaps. I think it looks really good. No, I feel like it's missing stuff though. There's nothing in front here. Yeah, we're gonna put other stuff. What about our whole list? Yeah, I'm gonna put other stuff. Mm -hmm. That's seven. <laughs> All this dirt in my face. Unless you wanted to do like. Um, What's wrong with our puffy? What's wrong, Bronco? Stuff over there. Yeah, give me something to do. Where is it? Yeah, the lantern was fun. We'll do another lantern. What about like like this? Um, soon. I wouldn't necessarily do that. So they're gonna get too tall. What about like this? That's gonna get too tall too. All oh, those are tall plants. Yeah. So where's my little plants? What about little cactus? No. No. See, if he wasn't here, I would have done my own thing. Oh, <laughs> she said, what's a DM? Oh, message us. Okay, so DM means direct message. Uh, it took me actually a while to learn that one too. Yeah, you can't speak like that. You have to say directly message us. So I don't know how to message on YouTube. Not on YouTube. But you can direct message us on Facebook, Instagram, or you can just go on our website and hit contact us. So you can fill out the thing and it'll tell us, um, it'll, give, it'll send us like an email. It's actually really convenient. Yeah, so yeah, usually, so once the lower uh, leaves on succulents start to wrinkle, that is when they're, it's telling you it's time to, time to give it water. But you wanna only give it like a couple tablespoons at a time. Not like, 
Not more than that. So you don't want to like dump a ton of water. You're going to put this in there? Yeah, put that in the front. He ain't going to work in there. I don't know. You think so? Yeah. Okay. He's pretty cool looking. Looks like a bunch of like little baby rocks or baby Not there. feet. I thought you said right here. No, that's the back. Oh, I envisioned that as the front. That's the front? Sure, whatever. I'll do what you say. <laughs> Which way looks better? This is a mimicry. I don't know. That? Yeah. Probably, no, no, that way. It does. That way looks pretty. It, that. that looks better. Shut your face. I already know. I already figured it out. <laughs> what is this? Look at this. Okay. Pretty crazy roots. So, <laughs> I keep getting dirt in my face. This guy has like gnarly roots. It is so weird. Okay. So you want me to put him like here? No. That's ugly. No, 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 I don't no, like no, it. No, 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 no. He's big though. Like, I don't know. Yeah. Man, I don't like it. Not pretty. Okay. What's your build? You just messed it all up. All right. Well, we'll just play with what we got and add decorations to it. I gotta replant this mimicry. But so now I'm just gonna fill in all the gaps, as David likes to say. Ooh, what was that? Sometimes when I'm planting, I find spiders or bugs and I freak out. So that'll be fun for y'all to see. You guys doing any fun projects? I think I might learn how to like refurbish some furniture or something while I'm stuck at home. <laughs> All right. This guy's like really high. I don't think he's going to work right there. We'll see. Yeah, I'm just gonna fill this in, give it some love. There's like a huge gap right here though. It's like really naked right there. This is the boring part. Sorry guys. Okay, it's really coming together. I think it looks pretty. To go nice on like a dining room table, coffee table, something different to look at. You know, before we started doing this, I had never seen anything like this before. Um, so I, I was really, really intrigued by by the look, the look it comes out to me, and everything that we do and build together. I always find it fascinating how it, it turns out. And that if I made it, I'm like, wow, I made that. So I'm really yeah, we, we we fought and bickered and decided just to do nothing. No what? no planting. What are you talking about? And then that other plant, we just we put it back. Oh, the cross plant? Wait, what? The mimicry. Oh, the mimicry. Yeah, yeah, no. I didn't like it. It looked bad. And it's Crystal's, uh, it's Crystal's build, so I'm going to let her. Hey, what happened to design. my Hawaii butt pan? It's in the office. We're going to plant that Hawaii bump pan. Uh, Aunt Jamie, that's from Aunt Jamie, isn't it? I think so. Yeah, uh, Aunt Jamie went to Hawaii. I think they were in, weren't they in Kauai? Last night we were watching, what's that show called that we were watching? I don't know. It was people selling their houses and moving to Hawaii. Well, and, I I, and I was like, oh, I want to move to Hawaii. <laughs> My family lives on Oahu, so, I mean, I wouldn't be alone. But what's great about out there is like all of my family out there, they're all musicians and I could learn so much from them. Um, but maybe we'll just do a little more FaceTime and they can teach me all their knowledge. I'll try to get them to come on here. Okay, I think I think I planted it good. Let's hope. He'll say no. He'll say not enough. Not enough. Sure. Want to check it? No. 
Oh, where's the little, we don't have any air? It's over there. Did you get new air? Oh, these look like those new bottles they bought at Costco. I bought like a case of air bottles at Costco like, I think like a month ago. So what she's using is canned air. It just helps us get the debris out of the plants before we decorate. Yeah. And it's really easy to push too hard and it's really easy to want to shake it and don't shake it. I, I have this habit of thinking by shaking it, it's going to make it better. See, I still am doing it. But shaking it actually makes it really cold and that's no fun. So Elisa asked, should I clip the bottom wrinkled ones off or do they regenerate if given a bit more water? Yes, they if will regenerate. They're, if they're just a little bit wrinkled, like when you get out of the shower, if you're in there too long. Yeah, like little finger prunes. Um, ah! <laughs> I had to do it. Then, it's not uh, coming out. Then they should come back. But if if it's... It's kind of like, so on a regular plant, that's called the wilting point. And so when they, if you take too long, then the leaves die off and they generate new ones. But it just depends on exactly how it looks. How far. So if you want to send us a picture, um, or you can even text us a picture too. I'll, I'll private message you and send you a phone number to text too. You can do that. Um, yeah. We can then, usually tell just by looking at it. Re Renee asked, how do you know when you've pinched in enough? So... So here's the deal. When you do these ones with the metal, it's hard. you need this? Yeah, I'm going to need this stick. Um, the metal ones, if you push really hard, every, because uh, it's real slippery down there and there's they're curved, whatever you push, if you push really hard, it'll all go out. The side. <laughs> so don't pinch like you would in a wood box. But in a wood box, you want to pinch it so it's nice and firm in there. Um, the stick really helps to get in there because I couldn't even get my hands in there. Just the way the plants are and the way this uh, planter is. Um, using a popsicle stick works great. Or if you don't have a popsicle stick, you use a screwdriver, flathead. Um, hey. Hey, Evan. Hi. He said, what are you using the freeze for? So <laughs> we're just using that to clean off the dirt. So I go, the, I go like this and it, it, it. Perlite, dirt. Uh, activated charcoal. Whatever. Don't shake it. I have. I keep shaking it. But if you just hold still, you might need to push a little hard. But you also don't want to push too hard because then you'll get some freeze on the plant, which isn't good. I mean, I've done it before. The plant was okay. But overall, like, if you just do it a little bit, it gives a little air. It's better than blowing on it. Um, obviously, blowing on it would be could put you out of breath. But like it just gets all the little dirt off that was on top. Like in this area right here, there's a lot of little dirt pieces in there. And I can't really get them with my finger. Um, in fact, if I tried to get them with my finger, I might hurt the plant and make a leaf break or something. So I think I got it cleaned up. Yeah, I think it's clean, planted good. You need to clean up your space here. It's a mess. Whatever. I clean, clean up. I, clean up I plant like I cook. I make a mess and I clean at the end or maybe I don't. We, we know the answer there. <laughs> well, we don't cook all that much in the trailer that we're in right now. So um, if you don't know us or know anything about us, if you're just tuning in, we uh, we sold our nice big, great big house um, in Anthem, and we used it to move to the plant bar. Um, we bought this property, and we got a... Um, a travel trailer. It's a pretty big travel trailer, though. It's 44 feet. Um, and us and our four kids and a dog live in there. Um, but there's there's plenty of space. Uh, we have a lot of slide outs, and um, we have a, a washer and dryer hookup in there, and a washer and dryer in there. So it's, it's not as bad as it sounds. But uh, I don't cook too much in there because the kitchen is really, really small. So I cook a lot of um, like halfway things. I try to make it easy because there's not a lot of counter space and my oven is really tiny and my stove is really tiny. Um, we use our toaster or is it toaster oven? Yeah. We use our toaster oven a lot, our Instapot a lot, our crock pot um, and our barbecue. So it makes it a little better but I would say for me that's probably the biggest downside of, of living small and tiny is not having our kitchen but other than that, and it makes it difficult. And the laundry, not having a laundry room. 
it, it makes it a little tough. But overall, we actually really enjoy it. And I could totally do this full time traveling, whatever with the kids. Um, I really enjoy it. So, okay, now I got to decide what I want to put on top. Um, why is the dog crying? Aww. He wants back on the counter. Yeah, now he wants up. Okay, so I'm just so gonna probably go. Lisa, back. if you if you uh, yeah. if you send us pictures, you can always message us, like we said, on Facebook or whatever, uh, Instagram, however you follow us, and then we can see exactly what you're talking about. You're talking about, and I can give you exact advice um, if I didn't give you enough. What about like do like that? Uh, Evan asked if you can put Shaflera out in the shade. So, yes, to a it can't get any like if we're talking true shade, then yeah, it should be fine. Does it depend on where you live? Well, he's in Phoenix. Oh, he's in Phoenix. Okay. Um, but it would depend on where you live. Florida, you can put those in full sun. Yeah. Um, as hedgerows, that's what they use for hedges is Shuffleura, but here um, it needs to be inside in a bright, uh, indirect light lit up room, or yes, you could put it out there. It depends though, the location, it needs to be somewhat sheltered. Um, sometimes if it's not protected, if, uh, which means like there's gotta be some, some space that uh, protects it from the like the wind or if like because if it gets windy and it's 115 out it's gonna dry that thing out like crazy so protected shade yes <laughs> what does the dog want I don't know the dog is crying I think he wants on the counter Put him on so the what counter. are you what are you doing here I don't know I'm just kind of doing I would say I'm being a student because could you take would you want to take some suggestions no okay I'm, I always start, this is how I do it. I, I oh, cool. start by throwing stuff on it and then I move stuff around as I do it. I know what you're gonna say. You should put the moss here and blah, blah, blah. So I know that I wanna put the moss around this, this red one because it'll brighten it up a little bit more. Um, there's a moss that we, so we have a little bit here this is actually my favorite moss, and I haven't been able to get it for a long time. Um, so I'm hoping that I'll be able to get it eventually. But I'm going to use some of it. I don't know what he was using it for, but he's gone. So, but yeah, I think what I'm doing is pretty. Like I'm starting to add some rocks and some different colored moss, despite what David thinks. It's funny, we could literally build the exact better than mine, but I think mine's still good. Uh, that's not true. Shut your face. No, I'm, I'm saying that. <laughs> oh, I thought you were saying that yours is the only way. No. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, misunderstood you there. He likes to tease me all the time. Last night, when we got home, there was a giant, ginormous, like as big as your face. No, not that big. Uh, <laughs> wolf spider and um i've only seen three spiders now in the in, in the house and but every time they've been really big um one time i was getting ready to go with misha to camp surf we had to be up really early and be at the school uh, for the bus and i get in the shower and i'm showering and i look up on the ceiling and there's a spider and it literally spanned the palm of my hand i think david had to get it was it that big it was bigger than the one we saw last night which one? The one at like four, three or three in the morning. I was. It wasn't. It was. Big, it wasn't as big as your hand. It was pretty big though. But it I, was pretty big. I haven't. I've seen big banana spiders like in Florida and stuff, but I had never. I I was like, this thing is scary, and so I freaked out a little bit. Um, but last night, no different. Freaked out. David pretends to catch it in his hand. And pre proceeds to follow me into the bedroom, and then I close the door, and he's like, "Are you standing by the door?" And he like puts his hand over over the door because our doors in our house have these little gaps between them, and he acts like he's gonna throw it at me. So yeah, that didn't go well. I started those are, screaming. Those are the joys. Started screaming. Kara started screaming because I was screaming. So yeah. The joys. 
All right, so I need to add a little bit more <laughs> moss here. What are you giggling about? Uh. Yeah, I loved Florida, but I didn't love those books. So Evan, are you talking about this one here? Yeah, probably. That one there? Let me know. It doesn't look as red on camera, but that red one's really pretty red right now. So a lot of people like that one. Thinking okay. our other, they, they lost YouTube that we, they, the giveaway. This one, yeah, this one was popular. All right, yeah, so this, this one here is actually Crassula. It's variegated Crassula. The reason that it's so red is because it's, it's been stressed from the winter mm -hmm. and it's got, it's been out in some bright light. So uh, in the store, what we do uh, is we, we do that as well. We didn't, we didn't stress this one out ourselves. Um, but what we do is uh, we have some grow lights inside here that will, that I'll turn on 12 on 12 off uh, different things. And I'll get the, get the colors to pop. So in your house, if you don't have grow lights, what, what you would do is if this is in a lower lit room, then, then you need to, uh, you, you would need to take, uh, take this and get it a little more light for like half a day or something. Mm -hmm. Do you want any wood? I mean, yeah, maybe a little bit of wood would be pretty in here. I think it's be. coming together. Thanks guys. I like it. Okay, I think this is the front, like David said. You could add a little piece of that in there. It's very zen. Yeah, this is this is the fun part of the job, just decorating and I feel I, I mean up like these little guys. Our current situation has made it so that we what did I do with this? so David and I have tried to be like we tried to be very consistent with our YouTube channel and we suck. Um but this situation has forced that to happen. And I'm actually really glad, like so many good things for us are coming out of the situation. And I, I hope the same is going for all of you. Um, I know there's a lot of other things going on that are not so good, but like this is, this is good for us. We were really glad to be able to do our YouTube channel more often. Um, the girls have been filming their own stuff. They want me to edit and make them a channel. We've been having a lot of fun. And I just, I think it's fun, it's good, it gives creativity and it puts something new out there. It looks like a snake. I know. Hopefully we don't see any of those yet. <laughs> I'll, be, yeah. I'll be calling David Coleman. Oops, sorry. But can you so come get the snake? We'll social distance. Tuck, tuck that in. <laughs> you'll wanna tuck that in there. Tuck it? Well, whatever you wanna do with it, but that, you know. Well, I mean, like move some of the rocks out of the way so it looks like it's like built in there, right? I think that just gives it a little. I like to add different different elements. Okay, so then I'll put the rocks back. Yeah. So when you're building your own, you always wanna you wanna use the moss to uh, to your advantage, and you generally want to put the moss around the colors, the more colorful plants or something like that. If you're doing a, I haven't said there's been two rattlesnakes in his neighborhood. No. <laughs> I'm sure they're out there. We just haven't personally seen any yet. Like here. last year we had quite a bit. Um, and if you watched our anniversary video, I actually show footage of David taking this cute little couple out on a little plant bar tour. Um, Cause we actually have some really cool trails uh, behind the building. And there was a big, humongous rattlesnake five feet away. Well, maybe not that close. Ten feet away. Um, just as David said, you know, we're out in the desert. Beware of of, of the nat natural stuff out here. And boom, there it was. Yeah, it was big, <laughs> it was big rattlesnake. Scary. And then one time, uh, Courtney was watering plants on the patio. And um, there was a rattlesnake wrapped up in our ocotillo. And it came pretty close to her. So that was that was scary. But our good friend Dave came and rescued today. Wait, what's happening? What? He can't help but 
touch my planter. No, no, here, go ahead. No, keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> All right, I think it's I think it's almost done. I'm just I'm tired. So one I'm the reason <laughs> I poked around in here is so whenever you're building these, when you have large leafed things, they, they cover up a big area. And if you don't put the stuff underneath it, it doesn't look as natural as if you, That's true. you put. So like this Echeveria, which it looked fine, but if you want to go and do even more detail, there was a big space here because the leaves were covering up all the dirt. So you could either put more rocks in there, but I wanted to have just a little more wood so we have different elements in here. And so I just popped a couple of these wood, little pieces of cork wood and then put this put this back. Otherwise, there would just been dirt there. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, <clears throat> oh, just little details to make it look pretty. Mm -hmm. It already looked pretty. Mm -hmm. All right. So there's a real, real cool little, little guy here. Yeah, eventually we'll be like really organized, like like the Serpa design guy. Maybe, maybe we won't. Maybe we'll just always be scattered, and that's just how we are. Yeah, true. Sure. That's fun too. If you want something else relaxing to watch, uh, the Serpa design guy is really cool. Plus, also our aunt and uncle Jamie and Zeb, uh, Jamie Marie Vintage. I know there's some of you already on here <clears> that watch them. They make amazing stuff. I don't know about you, but I love to watch uh, before and after stuff. Um, it's really intriguing. It's like a surprise. Um, even if they show us the final thing in the very beginning, I still love how how it happens. Um, so hopefully we're doing the same thing. Like this was just a regular tin bowl. I'm not sure what it would have been used for, but what do you think it was used for? Uh, like, I don't know. Like a serving dish. Serving dish at some point. And, and now then, we're serving. Then it was somebody's trash. Maybe you threw some loose change in it. Mm -hmm. But now, now, now it's got it's life. Planter. Now it has life. So I don't know. We, we built, what did we build? Two, three things? Two. We have three things built now. Yeah. So we'll, um, we've got this. So we'll this. post, we'll Give post, that. we'll that post one. this stuff up. I'm using this one so here. So one of them. This um, is my phone holder upper. I talked about this in the yeah. first video. Oh, it's got like, the water. Oh yeah. That's not good. I got a water. Let me get more. Um, yeah, so we're trying to just build stuff, and then of course, if people want to buy it, um, like I don't think we could ship this guy. It's there's a lot of complicated stuff on top, and I'm I'm almost guessing that if I tried to ship it, it would all come out just because the bowl is so shallow. I think that I could secure this box pretty good though. I could put some stuff like right on the top to keep the stuff in place. Um, I know that sometimes when we ship stuff, that things come out, so we're trying to trying to keep. You know what's what's the movie? What's with, shippable? Uh, what's the movie with uh, Ace Ventura? The, what's his name? Gosh, I don't know his name. Oh, what? I can't remember his name. The anyway, Oh, Jim no, Carrey. No. When he's doing, he's got the he's kicking the, kicking the stuff down. Oh, you mean when he's like the wait what? When they put, it's just this has to stay right side up in the reality of that oh, happening. Yeah, and David should know. David actually. Uh, I've had a stint or two of uh, moving packages. Yeah, he. Uh, and it's not anybody's fault that it happens. What happens is like the logistics of taking things from one truck to another, or from one thing to happens. another. Things have to be picked up and moved. And so I've been thinking about putting a garden full of cacti, Echeveria, Aeonium, and succulents. Would they survive in the shade under some mature bird of paradise? <clears> hmm. <throat> So maybe yard. it depends on the okay. <coughs> depends, depends on, on what way it's facing. Yeah, it depends on the etcheberries you use. You want to use cold tolerant stuff. Talk this way. Um, this way. What? Talk it this. Oh way. yeah, I'm talking to you over here. He's talking at the wrong camera. So I was trying to read it because he's got so. All right. So the, the the cactus for sure will work in outside. Most cactus is fine. The etcheberries, it's going to depend on you want to make sure you get cold weather echeverias which evan if you want to get some i can i can tell you which varieties to get um, for here in phoenix um and then the aeoniums should be okay like if you have them in a pot it might be better because you have to move them around um some of them will lose their and they can grow leaves quick too well yeah aeonium will do all right in the in a bright shade spot mm -hmm. um we just did a we just did a repot 
with a um, with a client. Uh, she had bought one and it split into like five different ones in a matter of six months. But a and will grow pretty good if it's in a happy spot. So, but it prefers, so you'd want to get only dappled morning sun. If we're talking outside with sensitive type succulents in a desert environment like Phoenix, Palm Springs, places like here, not Western sun. Not even if it's like shaded, it needs to be shaded all the way. So more, more towards, um, more towards like, so when the sun's rising, it can get some sun then but not the rest of the day. Not the end of the day. So I'm going to water, water these guys up. Remembering, right, we don't have a lot of soil in here. You don't need to dump water over the whole thing. It's a couple tablespoons and for each plant. I don't think I made it, it as crazy thick as you did in this box. So, so that's it. This one, uh, inside with the echeverias, I guess any time. Really, uh, the, the tip would be to not let water congregate at the tops here. Don't let it bubble up. So I always water underneath and right into the soil. Mm -hmm. A couple tablespoons per plant. And then we put these guys here. And the reason that you don't want to water here like this and have the, the little bubbles is sometimes because we have these inside, the, the light will refract or it'll reflect on something and then it'll, it'll come down and then you have this little prism and it reflects further. And it'll it can burn the it'll mm -hmm. burn the leaves of these guys. Yeah. And I've learned that the hard way, like throwing grow lights on these and then put, having water up there. And uh, so it's just better. Any rosettes that are succulents, get the water underneath. Or if you do get water on, on them, you can always you know use like if this doesn't have water in it, you can ch -ch 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 oh. do that. He says he saw that on Instagram. What's that? I know most of you probably have already watched a lot of our tips. Uh, for this, um, I think next time we go live, we'll go over some more houseplant stuff. Yeah, we, I was meaning to, but I we'll think do like a houseplant arrangement um, and then just go over. Plants. Well, I have those. We got some polka dot plants mm -hmm. that I, I want to mix with some. Uh, those are really cool. I was going to mix the polka dot plants with. Uh, uh, man, I'm, it's eight o'clock. It's time. It's eight o'clock mountain time, yeah. Phoenix time. Bedtime. I was going to mix and I'm going to. Um, I just got to find the right vessel, the right thing to put them in. We're going to mix um, violets with the polka dot plants because then you'll have, it'll look really pretty. That sounds cool. <clears throat> oh yeah, it's Evan. I didn't realize that was Evan. <laughs> I'm really slow, Evan. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> he said it's in the courtyard. I think it's, is it, because you show, you, I've seen pictures of that. Uh, you could show me a picture and I can tell you for sure. And then Evan, if you want to, you can DM me like so no Western sun. What you're what you're wanting? Yeah, it should be should be okay. The Western sun. It says you, he said so no Western. Sun. Yeah, no Western sun. No Western sun. It's his courtyard to go up to his house. Yeah. Um, Evan was in the Mandarin competition too. They did yeah. really good. I liked it a lot. All right. Well, I think we're gonna go. I eat. think we're gonna, we're gonna go, go eat dinner. Eat. Chicken nuggets and uh, tater tots again. No, we didn't. We don't normally eat this late. It's two nights in a row, eight o'clock. But I guess that's our life right now. So, so we we want to thank you guys all for hanging out with us here. We'll we'll get better at this, but I think we're gonna we're gonna try to push everybody here so that we have one one outlet so that one all of our fans can watch from um, no matter where. They yeah, are. and I'll still do like I'll do the Facebook stuff to show the plants and things as we're going through. Uh, yeah, because we can't Times do. Now, we but, can't walk around and film on YouTube. Um, yeah, it will be a little different. We can't do. There's certain restrictions we can't do yet from our phone. So for for this kind of stuff, we have to do it on our computer. But eventually, yeah. we'll use be able to use our phone. And then for anybody local, we're gonna put these on for these sale. up for sale for local pickup. I guess we could we could ship this one. Chris already said. Yeah, I just had to figure um, out how much. Yeah, so we're gonna put we're gonna put we're gonna take pictures. We're gonna put them on our story uh, on Facebook and on Instagram. And uh, if you're local and you want something cool, basically we're just you know we want to have a something to do, hang out together, yeah. hang out with you guys. And uh, we want to thank you for watching, watching us on YouTube. And if you uh, need something to do, we have the plant adventure kits. We have them ready mm -hmm. and uh, feel free to watch the 
the video on uh, on YouTube, and you can purchase our the kits uh, for fifteen locally or twenty five anywhere in the U.S. We'll we'll ship them out to you, and it has everything to do the plant adventure. Uh, if you watch the video, to show you what to do, but it'll give if you're looking for something to do for your kids to do, get your hands dirty a little bit. It'll it'll provide a little bit of uh, soil therapy. Yeah, it's fine. We we had a customer post a video of their kid doing it. It was great. I'm gonna see if I can if she'll let me share it because it's super cute. Um, but yeah, okay, let's go eat. I think everybody's eating yeah. too. Thanks, Thank guys. Thank you very much. Thanks so much for watching. Take care of yourselves. Have a good night. Bye. Bye. -bye. I don't know. How to, oh, I can end it like this. Okay. Bye, guys. <clears> okay. <throat>